All right, here we have another edition of Rob's video blog for his motorcycle projects. Eventually, I'll call this Killer Dachshund Customs. Uh, tonight, if you'll notice, the Roadstar is missing something. Hey, it's missing the rear fender. Well, it's missing its seat. And it's up on a lift. So what we're going to do tonight is the rear fender. So right now, you can see I have the old setup still kind of hooked on there. I have the entire fender taken off, that way I can get to everything. And you can see the old Harley style fender, or uh, Harley style um, tail lamp on there. So we're going to take that tail lamp off and wire in the new one. Um, the turn signals, I have the new turn signals ordered, uh, so these old ones are going to have to just sit on there for a little while, at least probably a week or so until the new ones come in and then I'll do another video for that. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to put on the new one. And here it is. This is a 1938-1939 Lincoln Zephyr taillight. It's actually set up to have a uh, blinking, uh, they call it a rapid fire. Uh, when you hit the brakes, it blinks rapidly. Well, I have the uh, Kuryakin uh, run turn brake kit already installed, so I'm going to have to bypass that. And I may or may not mention how I'm going to do that. Um, it also came with this fantastic little template, and so I made a copy, and we're going to use this to figure out exactly where on the fender we're going to place it. Okay. So I'm going to pause here for a moment, do a couple things, then talk about what I did. Okay, I also wanted to mention that the new tail light came from a place called shinyhiney.com. They have all sorts of tail lights, and uh, not just for motorcycles. They actually specialize mostly in car mo um, tail lights, I believe. But the customer service was absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend them to anyone. I had a small interface problem that was on my end. My computer messed up a little bit while I was placing the order. I called them and they, uh, I got a machine, but they called me back right away. And uh, the gentleman named Wade was absolutely fantastic and uh, called me a couple times to make sure everything was all right and the part came extremely quickly. So I uh, highly recommend shinyhiney.com. Okay. So now I've removed the removed the Harley tail light and it has an LED board on the inside and I just went ahead and left it all as one unit and I'm going to sell it to a friend of mine all together and so here we have where it mounted before and I have a couple of holes that uh, I will have to fill in with some fiberglass filler and have this repainted but since it's still riding season I'm gonna go ahead and forego uh, filling in those holes for a little while I'll probably Put a couple uh, chrome plugs in there, maybe even paint them blue to match, and then just uh, have it kind of hidden for the rest of riding season. But you see, it was mounted up really high, and the reason for that was the Harley style here. Um, you can see the, the extreme curve on the tail lamp itself, and so mounting it up higher actually lent itself to the lines of the bike. However, this one is going to sit very flush and very close in. So it wouldn't look quite right up this high. And so I'm gonna actually mount it uh, right about halfway between the top of the curve and the bottom of the fender. And so there'll be a little bit of a gap for about a week or so until I am uh, ready to switch the turn signals. But I think right about here is gonna do it. And so I have my template that I cut out from here. And so I'll be attaching this to the fender and I'm gonna run a line all the way across the fender to make sure that it's perfectly lined up. And so, especially since this has a point, 
you don't want it crooked at all. It'll jump out at you. So we'll go through and I'll spend some time making this perfect. Then I'll mark the holes and actually drill the new mounting holes. All right, everything has been lined up, mapped out. I got the template on there. We are ready to start drilling. Point of no return. And here it is with the holes drilled for the mounting posts and for the wires to go through. It is almost totally installed what it looks like so the next step as you can see there's this jumble of wires right here well this went to the old tail light and this is for the signals so I'm going to run the old signal lines through the old mounting hole for the old tail light, just for temporary. Have them run through there. And then these are going to go back through the fender and they're going to match up behind here. And so that will leave just this one little hole visible for a little while. And like I said, I'll plug this hole up with something. But this will clean up this whole area. And yeah, with this on here, I really like the way this turned out. And I really like the way it looks. It's sitting nice and flush. It's much, much better with the whole flow of the whole bike. Now, of course, it makes the signals jump out that these things are monsters and should not be here. But we'll get that fixed in about a week or so. But right now, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So let's do the wiring. All right, and here we have it. It is on. Centered it up as best as I absolutely could. Running a straight line down the middle. Let's have a look here. A little bit closer view, I'm hoping. I think that looks a lot better for the fender as a whole. It points right to the fact that it's an extended fender. If you look on the side here, you can see its profile is much thinner than the other tail light I had on there. So we have that. I'm going to get that back on the bike tonight. But we have another problem. The old... Let's see if I can set this up right here. old tail light had a mount for the license plate. This one being for a car obviously doesn't have that. So I needed to get a side mount plate. So I did. I have one. I used a barren bracket and I mounted, well I started to mount the uh, license plate to it. And that's going to mount on the side now instead of in the back, cleaning up this whole area as well. I can't wait to get the new signals on there. The new signals are about that big. And they'll remove all of this, cleaning this whole rear fender up. And then once I have that, I can fill in all the holes with fiberglass and then have the uh, rear fender repainted. I know it might be a little hard to see, it is at night here, but uh, this is the new setup. So we have the new tail light, and we have the bracket for the license plate. Have a look at that here. Here's the new bracket, the plate. Here is the new tail light. So 
that this might be very dark, but we'll get some shots of it tomorrow out in the sun.